Oh yeah. There we go, baby. Oh, he's got one. He's got one. Yikes. I hope it's a good one. Ah. The hook him. All right. All right, guys, I woke up at 9 o'clock this morning to fish a new lake. I fished this lake about 20 years ago when I was a kid, but I haven't fished it in a really long time. We're going to start off um, possibly throwing some top water. Let's get out here and catch some fish. Oh, yeah. There we go, baby. Oh, we got him. All right, guys, it's still early. I'm gonna start off throwing this head and czar spook here. I still haven't caught a fish on this thing. See the paint job on it is pristine. Doesn't even have a scratch on it. Oh, he's got one. He's got a bass, he's got a bass. Get him in the boat, son. Quit playing around. Fish number one. Fishing them forward. Somebody that, was late. That don't count. That's I the got that's the first one the camera's seen. Guys, if he's got pictures on his phone, I'll show y'all. Otherwise, that's his first fish. Did he get gut hooked? You gonna do a little trick that I did? No. You pull the hook out of his gill and then you turn it backwards and pull it out. We'll just kill him and throw him back in the water. We'll use him for bait. You guys can't see this can right here, but this is garlic bang. I've got garlic and then I've got crawfish. Crawfish slash shad. I use the shad in lakes where there's a bunch of shad and I'm using the garlic right now. What? What is that? Oh, there was another one. Yeah, I seen that. There was a, yeah, a little bass. All right, bass number two, guys. All right, so now we're gonna worm this. He is a dink. And when that bass come up, there was another one fall on him, so they may be schooling in here. But now since he caught a fish right here and we've seen another one, we're going to hit this area really hard for probably about 30 minutes. Check out this grass, guys. That is good grass. Some good looking stuff. It's not mucky and slimy. Looks like something that would go in an aquarium, honestly. Oh, he's got one. He's got one. He's a little guy, but he's a fish. It counts on the red shad. Get him on in here now. Quit playing around with a dink. Get him up. What is that for you? Fish number three? Three since you've been there. Fish number three, and I hadn't caught shit yet, as usual. The story of my hey, I've life. Got pictures on my phone. Those don't count. They do count. Don't. I thought you were late. Those don't count. Get a hook out of them, throw them back. Bye bye, fishy. Drag it really slow across these pads. See if there's something hiding under there. And we're giving up on the pads. Open water it is. Ooh, ooh, I just had a bite. Had to be a brim. It was a brim. But I had a bite. First bite of the day, guys. That was kind of a shitty hook set, but I didn't feel any weight on there. I think anybody can fish with a weightless Cinco and catch bass. That's the thing. Yes. If you can't catch bass with a weightless Cinco, you need to take your Barbie rod back to Walmart and return it. <laughs> Give up your fishing license. So I'm gonna throw this black and red stick bait with a chartreuse tail by Big Bites. You see that shade right there along the bank where that tree's in the water? There's that branch, some grass next to it. I bet there's a fish right there. We're gonna find out. Yep, he picked it up. Got him. Oh yeah, there we go, baby. All right, come on up here. Come here, boy. Woohoo! Bass number one for Spencer. <laughs> Check him out, guys. All right. Pop the hook on out of him. 
Bass number one, dink, dink, dink. We're gonna throw her back. And a moment from our sponsors. Guys, if you want comfortable fishing footwear, check out Soft Science Shoes. The link to purchase is in the description below, as well as the 10% off discount code. So right now, guys, we're up near the bank and we're just casting in these pads to get close to the bank in the shade. Oh, and he just got one. Oh, it got off. That looks like a good pocket right there up in the shade next to the bank. I think there's Oh, yeah, there's one on there. Got him. Oh, this is a good one. All right. Come on through here. Come on through them pads, boy. Come here. This is probably the one that he just missed. Oh, he's got me in the pads. Come here. There he is. That's a little better one. All right, fish number two for Spencer. And he's good hook. Throw her back in. There she goes. Fish hijacking <laughs> I got his fish. Now guys, when you're fishing pads like this, braid is really good for pulling through the pads. Whether you're hung up or you hook a fish, now I've got 17 pound mono on here. I would rather have braid, but you really don't want to be fishing something like 10 or 12 pound in the pads because you hook a big bass, he's going to break you off. Now guys, since I'm fishing these pads, I'm pushing my worm up over the eyelet. That way the eyelet don't get hung up in the pads on me. If you're fishing out in open water, you can leave the eyelet out. That way when the weight hits that eyelet, it'll make a little clinking noise. You can jerk it, it'll hit the eyelet and it'll clink. And that can attract the bass as well. Did he get it? Yeah. Right in that pocket. Is he on there? Right. Oh, we got him. All right. That's a good one. That's a good one. Get him up here. Oh, he's a chunky one. That's about a three pounder. Oh, he's fat. Fatty. So right now to catch these bass, we're getting deep in the lily pads up next to the bank and we're finding these pockets in the shade next to the bank under the trees and we're casting these pockets. Let me show you one real quick. You can see right there next to the bank that there's a little pocket where it opens up. That's where we're finding these bass hiding at. The key to catching these bass is throwing in that pocket and hitting it the first time. Because if you throw a messed up cast, you throw past the pocket, and you jerk your worm back through, make a bunch of noise, you scare the fish off. Ooh, there's one on there. Ah, the hook him. All right. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, he's in the pads. Get me over there before he gets off. No, he's a big one. He's ginormous. He's a 20 pounder. Let's go. Come on. Pull us on over there. Pull the damn fish out of that. I am. I'm pulling. You don't see me pulling? Oh, shit. <laughs> yep, he come off. He got me, guys. I was going to let him go anyway. Troll motor ran out. Almost at the boat ramp. Paddle time. Pull me up, Captain. You guys think I can make that jump? Oh, I made it. We did all right, guys. We didn't have a great day, but we did catch fish, so that's what counts. Time to go. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll get notified every time I upload. We'll see you again soon.